Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for another Power Query video. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to convert JSON strings into tables in Power Query. As you can see, again, I am publishing the video a little bit late, so it's like, I don't know, I think you, you will see it up at, at about 8 o'clock. And I am actually going to move the publishing of the Monday and Wednesday video to 8 o'clock to make sure I actually can make it. Somehow I managed to make that Friday's videos without a problem, but it's just this video is... I sometimes need a little bit more time in case I've been busy with a customer. So 8 o'clock is the new release for Monday and Wednesday videos. I will keep the DAX Friday's videos to o'clock see how that works and then we will make adjustments if it doesn't work for you okay but uh, let's start with the video convert json files or text into a table if you don't know what a json file is just stay and watch because there are a lot of apis to produce json and other applications that produce json files and sooner or later you will get there and then you can remember oh ruth actually made a video about it so i know how to fix it okay but let's begin Okay, so there are a lot of ways to get JSON files into Power BI. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you one of them. And this is the case that I will show you. I have, uh, this is a table. It, it really comes from, at, at least on the job that I've been working on, it works, um, it is stored on SQL and there is a, an ID. And then here there is JSON strings store on a SQL table and you have a string for each value of the ID. Okay, so it's a little bit special, but it's not that uncommon, actually. And I, I, well, there is a very hard way to do this and there is a very easy way. And I did the hard way. I'm going to show you the easy way so you don't have to do the hard way, basically. But before I jump into this, there are other ways to get JSON files. And if you're working with an API, you probably will get these directly. Let me show you. So here we have a blog post by Eric Svensson. And uh, what he is doing is uh, doing an example of uh, the statistics agency, governmental agency in Sweden. This is basically the authority that collects data about Sweden and then they have an API where you can download the information for your applications. And the API actually returns JSON files. And he explains here how to actually manage these, which is great. Another thing that is great is Eric. If you don't know who he is, he's here. Hi Eric. He's actually coming to the Power BI user group in Sweden. We are going to have a meetup the 14th of September. It's going to be in Stockholm. And we're going to be in the south of Stockholm in a beautiful island, in the southern island of, of Stockholm. And uh, he's coming and he is going to show us how to do just that. And I'm really looking forward to meeting him. So if you want to know how to do it, what he did, I will post the link to his blog post on the comment box, or you can actually come to Stockholm and watch him live. That's a good option, right? We have planned, I mean, he's been kind enough to want to do a few videos with me that we will be publishing after he's here in Stockholm. Uh, we have not planned to do this JSON video as a video so we have other things planned um, but uh, if you want me or him to actually do this video also we will do it okay otherwise he has a great blog post here where he explains how to do it in case mm. okay good so what is a json file and if you read what it says here i don't know unless you're a developer <laughs> <laughs> you will understand, but you will know that a JSON file, when you see this structure, it always looks like this, okay? And then it can be like nested levels inside the JSON file. Um, search for it if you are very interested about why it exists when it comes, what is the structure, just go for it. But just you need to know that there are a lot of APIs to use it, and sooner or later you will have to manage them in Power BI and Power Query. So let's do that. 
Okay, so here we are finally in Power BI. And the only thing I've done is I actually imported the JSON file into Power BI. I haven't done anything else. So here is the source that it comes from the Excel file and then did a few steps to clean the data. And what we have here is again the ID and properties. And uh, there is a hard way and an easy way. And the hard way is to actually try to find the structure of this file and try to do step-by-step -step cleaning in Power Query. It is doable, but it's horrible and it's a mess. Now, hold your horses, because there is a really, really, really easy way to do it. And I almost, I won't say it, but... <laughs> I, I was a bit disappointed I didn't know it before. So if you want to transform a JSON file, you right click on it, you click transform, you will see JSON and Power Query will do its magic. It's transformed everything into, you see, gorgeous tables. Over there, so one of the some of these things will have uh, values, others won't, depending on what this ID is. So once you've done that, you click on here, and you expand. And here you have it. It's just amazing. And you have no idea. What, what you, I'm sure you know what I tried to do before. I knew that this trick <laughs> existed. Um, so it's as simple as that, actually. Again, you right click, transform as JSON file, you, it just transforms everything into table, and then you expand and then it works. And I'm guessing you are asking, you, then your next question will be, does it work with nested tables? Yes, it does. So first you open up one that will contain another table, and then you open that table that contains another table, and you continue as, as long as you want. So. It works absolutely brilliant. So I I really I I know that it's a very short trick, but I really want to show you because if you don't know it, you will spend tons and tons of time. I mean you will lose your time basically when the solution is so easy. Okay. So today was actually a short video, but I, Honestly, it was a very. It will be very useful when the time comes that you have to use it <laughs> because now you know how to do it the easy way. Um, I just want to say that some of you have already noticed that all the links I have on the website and on YouTube are broken. And the reason for that is that I've been working on setting up the VPN on the Kerbal server, and I did that, but. <laughs> On the process of doing that, I changed a few things and I didn't realize that I changed the path for the shared links and they broke and I cannot fix that. I have to recreate them all over again. And I have like a hundred files, download files, and I have I have them spread a little bit everywhere. So I apologize for that. It's going to take me some time to fix it. I know which files you download the most, so I'm going to start on those. So I minimize the problem as much as I can, and then I will just try to work my way through the list. But it will take a few yeah, weeks, probably. And I'm preparing for the DAX Friday video. You know, the, this Friday is the 50th DAX Friday video. and. Uh, and I'm preparing for that. So I don't have a lot of time to spend on just fixing this link. So I really apologize. But just so you know, send me an email. Go to kerbal.com slash contact. Send me an email. I will email you the file in case I haven't managed to fix your link yet. So yeah, sorry. Again, so if you like the, the video today, if you like the trick, just let me know by liking it or by sharing it. And uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I publish at 8 o'clock Monday and Wednesday, 2 o'clock on Fridays. Okay? So have a great Monday. Bye.